Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss an example relating to the concept consistent and inconsistent system of equations. So for instance, let us consider system of equations and now let us name this equation as equation 1 and then the next equation as equation 2 and here as equation 3. And now let us represent these equations in a matrix form Ax is equal to D where A represents the coefficient matrix and then coming to X which is a variable matrix with the elements X, Y, Z and D represents the constant matrix which is 9, 52 and 0. And then we need to consider the augmented matrix AD which is similar to the combination of the matrix E and the constant matrix D. And then in order to find the system of equations as consistent, we need to convert the elements of upper triangle as 0. So in order to convert this element as 0, we need to use the elements in the first row. So by multiplying 2 to the 1 and subtracting from the second row, we get the element 0. So this operation would be denoted as R2 implies R2 minus to R1. So the matrix AD will be similar to and the first row remains the same and then performing the operation in the second row, we get 2 minus 2 which will be 0 and then 5 minus of 2 which is 3. And then here 7 minus 2 will be 5 and 52 minus 9 into 2 which is 18. So 52 minus 18 is 34. And then the last row remains the same. And now we need to convert the element 2 as 0. So for this we need to perform operation to the row 3 which is by multiplying 2 to the row 1 and subtracting, we get 0, right? So, here the operation is denoted by R3 minus to R1. So, the first and second row remains the same. And then coming to third row, here 2 minus 2 will be 0. And then 1 minus 2, which is minus 1. Then, minus 1 minus of 1 into 2, which will result in minus 3. And then, 0 minus 18 will be minus 18. And here in the last row, you can observe that we have minus as the common sign. So let us divide row 3 with minus 1, which is denoted by the operation R3 implies R3 divided by minus 1. And then after performing this operation, we need to convert the element 1 as 0. So we need to multiply 3 to the row 3 and just subtract it from row 2. And this operation is donated by R3 implies 3R3 minus R2. So the first and second row remains the same. And after making changes to row 3, we get here 0. And then 3 minus 3 will be 0. And then 9 minus 5 will be 4. And then here 3 into 18 which will be 54. So 54 minus 34 which in turn becomes 20. And now again in row 3 we have a common factor 4. So it is make changes to row 3 which will be row 3 divided by 4. So this matrix will be similar to the first and second row remains the same and then the changes in the third row will be 0, 0, then 4 divided by 4 which in turn becomes 1 and then 20 by 4 will be 5. So here you can observe that we have converted the augmented matrix AD into upper triangular matrix. And now let us name this as equation 4. So after this, we need to find the rank of a matrix A, which will be equal to number of non-zero rows. So, so by observing the last column in the matrix A, we can see that there are three non-zero rows. So rank of a matrix A will be equal to 3. And now let us check with the rank of a matrix AD. So we need to observe the last column in equation 4. So here also we have 3 non-zero rows. 
So rank of a matrix AD is also equal to 3. So therefore we can say that rank of a matrix A is equal to rank of a matrix AD which is equal to 3. So hence we can say that it is a consistent system and therefore it has a unique solution. And now from equation 4 let us write the equations which will be in the form of 1 into x plus the next element 1 into y plus 1 into z is equal to 9 and then from the second row we can say that 3 into y plus 5 into z is equal to 34 and at last 1 into z which is nothing but z is equal to 5. So by substituting the value of z in this equation, we get the value of y. So that implies we get here 3 y plus 5 into 5 which is 25 is equal to 34. Then the value of 3 y will be equal to 34 minus 25 which is 9 and the value of y will be equal to 3. And now by substituting the value of y and z in this equation, We get x plus 3 plus 5 which is equal to 9. Then x will be equal to 9 minus 8 which is equal to 1. So the value of x is 1. So therefore the unique solutions of consistent system of equations are x equal to 1, y equal to 3 and z is equal to 5. And then in order to verify the solutions, we need to use equation 1 and substitute all these values so that we get the value equal to 9. So in this way we find the elements of matrix X using the concept of rank and consistent and inconsistent system of equations. And make a note that here if rank of a matrix A is equal to rank of a matrix AD which is less than 3 that is 2 then it is consistent but has infinity solutions which will be in terms of k. Whereas if rank of a matrix A is not equal to rank of a matrix AD, we can say that it is inconsistent and it has no solutions. Hope you understood the concept. So in our next upcoming videos, we are going to deal with how to find solutions of system of linear equations. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.